Welcome everyone. This video is swapping the batteries um, from the first run. Uh, this has been 72 hours. The light was a tiny bit brighter than that yesterday when I was supposed to change it. Um, but uh, you can probably hear I'm actually sick at the moment and yesterday it was not going to happen um, I was supposed to stop it this morning but such is life okay so here we are we're going to change these batteries over now and we're going to see a difference hopefully in the power that's been transferred um, there's been a tiny bit of confusion from what I can tell about the batteries to be used in this setup these are rechargeable batteries and I recommend you do the same. I recommend you use rechargeable batteries. Um, there are viewers of mine that have stated that they use non-rechargeable batteries and it still worked. Um, nowhere near the 275 days that my initial test ran. So there's a few differences here. We've got a much larger light. Um, about a hundred times more power than the LED off the 275 day test and the batteries are 1000 milliamp hour whereas the test that took 275 days or ran for 275 days is um, using two and a half thousand milliamp hour batteries so two and a half times bigger um, so one can just naturally assume that these batteries are not going to be uh, able to run a system anywhere near as long as the um, ones that are two and a half times the size. All right, so let's change these. Um, I recommend you take out the series connected batteries. So if you see here, these are uh, one, two, three, four connected in series producing 4.8 volts. And then on the parallel side, we've got 1.2 volts all in parallel. Um, subtract the 1.2 from the 4.8, leaves you with 3.6. That's the voltage that's going through the light system. Okay, so we undo those. And they don't want to come out. Okay. So undo the um, series set first when you're swapping these batteries around. We'll just put them there. Um, the reason for doing that is it disconnects the entire circuit. Uh, if you were to start removing the uh, parallel batteries first, the yeah, circuit would still be operational until the last battery was removed. Okay, so those batteries have been removed. Now we shall take the receiving batteries that theoretically should be charged through the transfer process okay so what I'll do is I'll at least leave one of those out so that I can put all four of the receiver batteries in that it was previously running off of now we place in the last of the series batteries and hey presto no tricks no magic power transferred save yourself some money seriously look outside the textbooks i've got constant people saying to me oh you don't understand what you're doing um look i value your opinion but i've done the work i've done the experiment I'm standing here questioning why this works as efficiently as it does. And I would appreciate people stop telling me that this system doesn't work and that I don't know what I'm doing. This is not my invention. This is stuff that Tesla used. This is stuff that um, Carlos Benitez used in, in his patents. This is uh, being used by Gabriel Cron. This a hundred years ago was how they did things and there was not enough money to be made. So they taught you 
a different way. Please don't come at me and suggest that I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to show you a different way. Your textbooks are lied to you. Your teachers lied to you. Your education department lies to you. Your legal system lies to you. Your government lies to you. If this was around 100 years ago, do you not believe that your government knew? Your government knew about this. They wanted you enslaved. That's the reason why you go to work is for energy. All right, thanks for watching. Um, I really encourage people to go and have a crack at this. Just, it's so easy. Uh, you just can't get this wrong. You can't electrocute yourself. You can't do any damage to anything. Um, just, you know, for under 30 bucks with rechargeable batteries, you've got an ongoing power system there. I, I can do that for how many nights? I, I'm, I'm unsure, but I'll keep this test running. I'll let this one go for uh, another probably 48 hours now. Um, and then I will perform the control test. Um, really for me at this point, I just wanted to make sure that this setup was going to work just like the other setup. Um, you know, I mean, we all saw the brightness of that light. We all saw there's no cuts in this video. We all saw that those batteries came from the charge side, went into the receiving side. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Please like, share and subscribe.